All right. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody. Brian from Witch Doctor here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, speaking of tuning in, we did a tuner test of the Mike Azell PDT tuner, particle dampening technology tuner. And, um, well, this is a continuation of uh, the existing set of tests that we did. Uh, we did a test not too long ago uh, looking at uh, different settings and group shapes and group sizes along different settings. Um, also looking at point of impact where you see a clear sine wave where it you know, kind of dips down here, dips up a little bit, um, and then replicated it not once but twice. And um, anyway, so, you know, settled on setting 29 as being sort of right in the middle of a, you know, pretty well-established flat tune window. Okay, so that was the first set of tests, which shows that, you know, the tuner definitely turning it a single hash mark is making quite a bit of difference on group shape, point of impact, and also group size. And you can see here the numerical values on the tuner itself. You can see the little marker I put there so I know exactly where to set the tuner uh, according to the number. Um, it does have three uh, screws that uh, go into it to tighten it down. Um, again, don't crank too hard on these. They're just, you know, just sort of a light hand tightness to them uh, so the tuner doesn't, you know, just slide around but it's, you know, it stays in place upon firing. Um, so anyway, uh, did that test looking at all the different settings. And one thing that I noticed about the other tuners that I've tested, the Dan Bramley tuner, the DSB, and also the uh, Eddie Harris tuner, um, is that for whatever reason, and, and I also have other data that I did um, where I collected a bunch of data over the course of an entire year looking at different atmospheric conditions and how that affected precision and ballistics. For whatever reason here where I live in the Pacific Northwest United States, once the barometric pressure, um, and I'm at sea level, once the barometric pressure goes below 29.7, uh, something happens with the tune. So if you tune your rifle uh, in you know, 29.7 and above, uh, you get a good tune. It stays that way whenever you're shooting in 29.7 and above. Um, but then once it shifts down to below 29.7, that tune falls off. And I essentially found that over a year of testing without a tuner on, um, and then testing the Bramley and the Harris tuners uh, did the exact same thing. The tune drops off once we get that market shift in barometric pressure. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I do know that that effect has been demonstrated now multiple times, uh, very uh, replicable sort of situation. And so what happened was recently uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, in Washington State where I reside, um, we did have a day where the barometric pressure dropped quite a bit. Uh, it dropped down to 29.55 and it sort of stayed there all day. Um, so I took that as an opportunity to run out to the range to see if this Izell PD2 tu uh, PDT tuner uh, did what the Harris and the uh, Bramley tuner did um, and to see if the tune fell off. So I set the tuner setting to 29, which like I sh said, you know, was sort of right in the ideal tune window range with a very circular group shape tiny, tiny groups, um, replicated that in high barometric condition, barometric pressure conditions. And so that became my, you know, ideal setting for barometric, you know, high barometric pressure conditions. Uh, 30.38 HG uh, was the uh, uh, barometric pressure at that time. And then when I replicated this, it was, let's see, where are you? It was basically very similar barometric pressure condition. Um, it was it was above 30. Um, so anyway, pulled this puppy out and uh, took it to the range. 
Okay, so the exact same setup as the last time. The uh, It's a Schillen heavy varmint barrel, 13.5 twist, 6 PPC cartridge, um, with a Bat Nouveau action and a March High Master fixed 48 power scope with the Lou Murtica raised reticle uh, and the Flavio trigger set to just below an ounce. Took that puppy out and shot some groups. Went ahead and kind of alternated the tuner setting. Um, what had happened with the Bramley and the Harris tuners is that when I turned the tuner in, um, the tune came back under low barometric pressure conditions. So what I did was I started by shooting the 29, which was the ideal setting for high barometric pressure conditions. And I got this group that obviously has a lot of vertical and horizontal. It's kind of shaped, you know, going that way at an angle. Um, <clears throat> moved, let the barrel cool, of course. Moved it to 28. Um, turned it in just one hash. Again, in one hash, I don't know how <clears throat> clearly you can see here, but you have 30 there, 29, 28, 27. So the turn is very small. I mean, it's just a hash mark. That's probably two millimeters of movement. Um, <clears throat> very similar to the Bramley. And when I turned it in, the group did shrink dramatically. Uh, printed a one five six five shot group. All these are five shot groups. Um, so let it cool. Went down to the other target. Shot a twenty eight again, and once again it dotted up really small. Point one one three. Again, let the barrel cool. Then I turned the tuner to twenty nine, and once again I got the same sort of shape that I did here with my first five shot group at twenty nine. Um, this one was a little bit smaller though at 0.275 um, Then I kept it at 29 shot it again, and I did get one that leaked out But again, it kind of had that pattern there of that kind of slanted um, You know shape and that printed at 2775 um, Turn it back to 28 and then boom it dotted back up again and shot a zero zero nine five five um, put it back to 29 and it shot pretty big. Um, this time the shape is kind of slanted in the other direction, but still kind of a slanted pattern. Um, put it back to 28 and it shrunk, but did still have a little bit of vertical on it, uh, 0 0.3015. So um, took the this data home, put it in the uh, Excel spreadsheet, crunched the numbers. So for the ideal in high pressure, overall aggregate was 0 0.3504, which <laughs> was a marked shift. Um, obviously going from small dots to 0 0.3504 uh, is, you know, double the size, which is actually almost exactly what I have found in all of my previous testing. When it gets down below 29.7, uh, the groups tend to double in size, which it did, if not more. Um, and then I turned the tuner inward, just one hash mark, and the aggregate was 0 0.1665 um, for all four shots. These represent four, four or five shot groups, another four or five shot groups. The overall variance in the four or five shot groups for the 28 setting was 0 0.0087, and the total variance for the four or five shot groups in 29 was 0 0.0095, and that was a statistically significant difference. So definitely had a market shift in the precision uh, based on, you know, uh, the, what I would call a cutoff of barometric pressure, where once it gets below that 29.7, uh, we see that precision drops off dramatically and something needs to change. Okay, so what I ended up doing was, you know, again, turning that tuner, just one little hash mark, and it regained the tune. Um, did really, really well. I mean, 0.1665 is a great aggregate for four or five shot groups. Um, again, roughly half the size is the um, high pressure setting. And so now I have established that, you know, 29 is ideal in high pressure, 28 is ideal in low pressure.
and you can't use the high pressure setting and low pressure it's just not going to work so um, now I know for sure you know with this particular tuner if I keep it set at 29 for my high pressure setting uh, if that barometric pressure drops uh, I can turn it to 28 and expect that it will come back in tune all right so again this tuner is definitely showing that it works as intended and uh, works very similar to you know the Bramley and Harris tuners um, again makes me conclude that these uh, tuning de <laughs> tuner devices are uh, what I would call atmospheric compensators so that when the atmosphere has a dramatic shift uh, you can you can turn the tuner and it could bring back your tune all right well thanks for tuning tuning in get it tuning in um, and gonna go ahead and continue to do more of these tuner tests uh, I'm gonna maybe you know do this test you know where I check to see you know what's the precision and sine wave um, and point of impact you know um, along this maybe doing that uh, beyond the the one setting here so kind of turning it out some more and extending this to go out a little bit more and see if the sine wave you know uh, comes back and shows another sort of flat spot in the tune window and see how big the groups are um, and then just continue shooting it in uh, high pressure conditions low pressure conditions um, and also uh, like I was able to do at the end of this summer was I took the Bramley tuner in my 30BR um, and shot it in uh, temperatures that were 25 degrees above uh, what they were in the morning so I shot it in the morning and then in the afternoon late afternoon it was 25 degrees hotter shot it again and saw some interesting results um, from that so I'll do things like that with this tuner and see you know um, how, how does it behave and what do the groups look like in terms of size shape point of impact and report back all right thanks for tuning in and uh, Please join my Patreon page. Again, uh, put a lot of posts in there, a lot of good information, lots of good discussions, developing a lot of good relationships with some, you know, great shooters out there who are, you know, like me, interested in uh, advancing knowledge and shooting and practices and uh, devices and things like that. So be good to have you there. Take care.